Information is incredibly fascinating. Take for example the number seven. You may know that during antiquity the world had seven wonders. One of those was the lighthouse of Pharos outside Alexandria, which was destroyed by an earthquake. The ancient library of Alexandria was not one of the seven wonders, but it is said to have been the world's largest library. The University of Bergen library is not the largest in the world, but it has, yes exactly, seven departments which give you the information you need. The selection is enormous, with almost two million books and journals. If you pile all these on top of each other, it will be just as high as Mount Everest! Around 100 people are employed here to make sure that we are your best source of information. Digging up information in the library feels like going back in time. In the library's special collections, one can find books and diplomas from as far back as the 13th century. Many of these are written with quill pen. And somewhere in the special collections, we actually find the quill pen of Charles Dickens himself. <laughs> In the library's abundant special collections, there is also a complete collection of newspapers where you can read what was in print on the day Germany invaded Norway. You can also find the big events which took place on your own birthday. I, for example, was born on the day Ireland became a republic. It is said that by reading a newspaper like the Times every day for a week, you get more information than a person in the Middle Ages got during an entire life. Today we are bombarded with information from all directions. It almost feels somewhat overwhelming. Fortunately, the library can enlighten you and search up electronically. The books you need or find what you are looking for in our vast databases. The library gives you access to more than 17,000 journals, of which 13,000 are in electronic form. Here you will find everything from my daughter's favorite, Cosmopolitan, to the journal Forum Mathematicum, which keeps me entertained in the evenings. But sometimes a picture can say more than a thousand words. And in the photography collection, you can search and find hidden treasures. And maybe a great-great-grandfather turns up. But the university library is not only about information. It is also a place where one can socialize and meet other people. And maybe these are the contexts where the most important information is exchanged.